Colonel Michael L. Brooks. I'm the commanding officer of Marine Corps Base Quantico. And what we're doing here is a little bit of community connection with the Marine Corps Marathon organization and our uh, Fredericksburg historic half. Um, this has been a fantastic day. It really has. The weather has been perfect. People are excited. When I say people, I mean the community, the runners, and all of our volunteers and sponsors who are here today. Well, you know, that we're celebrating our 16th year. And the energy is just not today. It started on Friday when we had our ribbon cutting ceremony and it went through yesterday and then on today. Uh, what's it like? I, I tell you that every runner here has their own story, their own reason why they're running. Even the volunteers who are coming from multiple states just to be here today, it's incredible. And they too, like the runners, have their own reasons of why they're volunteering today. And they're excited. No, you know, I would say that my chief of staff, you know, he's been training for the half marathon, but he then like a week before he got a knee injury, so he, instead of doing the half half marathon, he went down to the five miler uh, and he finished today. So I was really looking forward to seeing him cross the line because he had been training for a while. Um, and then just other people that I have gotten to uh, the privilege to, to know from these Marine Corps marathon events throughout the year. They're here every single time. So just the familiar faces as they're coming in across the uh, finish line, giving everybody high fives, it's just exciting to see. He, Alex has been great. He is bringing um, a different kind of energy. Uh, when I went out to the starting line this morning, he had even put yellow footprints on the starting line. That's the first. Plus, he's added a couple of other things uh, to the expo, for example, the panel discussion. This year's event is themed uh, United States Marine Corps salute to veterans and first responders. So Sergeant Major was able to conduct a panel discussion with local first responders yesterday. Uh, yeah, he's bringing a lot of energy to this, to these events. Well, I would say that, you know, we are honored and privileged to be able to put these events on in the city of Fredericksburg. We have a lot of Marines and their families who live in the city of Fredericksburg. And it's just our way, a meaningful way, to really give back to the city who has given a lot to us. They've opened up their doors to their communities, to their schools, to their churches, to their businesses, and really made the military families here feel at home. And that's very important to us. And to be able to do this in their town where the community is involved in this race, it's very rewarding. Michael Harms, uh, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, Harms, H-A-R-M-S. This is Donald Harms, D-O-N-A-L-D, H-A-R-M-S. Oh, it was, it was awesome. Um, we love this race. This is our fourth running of it. Um, and it's just such a fun event, well put on. Um, super inclusive, which we obviously appreciate, and uh, just a blast, absolute blast. Ainsley's Angels is an organization um, dedicated to the inclusion of all people, especially people with disabilities and endurance sports. So they just make sure that um, endurance, you know, they help make endurance sports accessible for people with special needs and disabilities. No, this is our, oh man, we got to be closing in on 100 races at this point, yeah. Um, this is our fourth of uh, the, the historic half, and our, we'll be running our fifth Marine Corps marathon in the fall, so, um, so we've done eight, eight now different Marine Corps events. Yeah. Oh, I would encourage them to definitely reach out and do it. Um, running is an amazing sport, um, but you know, and it's definitely, there's a community aspect to it, but once you're out there in the thick of the race, especially towards the end, it's pretty much solo, you're on your own. But when you're running with, as part of a team, uh, it's just something really special. You're able to dig deeper and that, um, that just community aspect is even stronger. And then to, fin you know, to, to connect together out on the course, to push through the tough parts together and to finish together is just really special. Um, and something that I don't know if you can understand until you, you experience it. Um, but anyone who does it, I think feels it and knows it. Um, no, just thanking everyone that makes you know, it possible, Ainsley's Angels making it possible for helping us have the gear and to be able to do this. Um, we really especially thank the Marine Corps too for putting on amazing events. When we first started running, um, we ran a local 5K and then we were immediately like, oh, we gotta run a marathon. So the Marine Corps marathon just was the first thing we saw. Um, we reached out, we didn't even know Ainsley's Angels at the time, we just reached out and they were super quick to be on board and ha happy to have us, you know, and uh, 
the, they do it, uh, the logistics of everything just is so well run and smooth, which really we appreciate because it makes it easy for us. It, that, it, that's a part of making it accessible is, um, you know, parking is well set up and uh, there's lots of space for wheelchairs and um, every little detail is well thought out and we really appreciate it. Um, and we always feel welcome. So uh, just another, a big thank you to the Marine Corps as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that is the special thing with uh, being able to do these events is like, Donald is absolutely an athlete. Like he's, who, he's how we got into running. He wanted to do it, you know, we saw a video of Rick and Dick Hoyt and he was immediately, he wanted to, you know, get out there and do that too. Donald is adopted. Um, so when we got him home, we could tell right away, this kid's an athlete. He just needs, you know, some accommodations to be able to participate. And so running was really the most accessible sport. All we needed was a chair. Um, and Ainsley's Angels helped with that right away once we found that organization. And then, like I said, the Marine Corps was great with, yeah, come run the marathon right on. Like, um, and so that, all that came together so easily uh, to, to help Donald be able to show and demonstrate just, you know, the, the fierce, intense athlete that he is. Um, and so that's really special for my wife and I, but you know, 